Hey, it's Wendy from Worldwide Speak, and I'm back today to give you quick tip number two on how to build stronger sentences in English. Let's learn. All right, quick tip number two. Replace the verb to be with strong active verbs. Often when we write, even native English speakers like myself will write and we will rely or we will use the verb to be um, too often in our paper. And when we do that, uh, it makes our paper vague, um, it can be repetitive, and it makes our writing weak. So let me show you one way um, to change the verb to be with a stronger, more active verb. Let me give you a very simple example to start out. So let's say we had the sentence, many people are afraid of heights. Well, here we're using the verb to be, are, and then afraid of what? They're afraid of heights. So we could change this by taking out the um, phrase with the verb to be and let's put in a stronger, more active verb like fear. Many people fear heights. And what this does also for your writing is when we're using the verb to be, it can make our sentences what we call wordy. There are too many words in the sentence, which when that happens can lead to more confusion for your reader. So when we make our sentences less wordy, they become more clear. Let's take a look at another pretty simple example so we can understand this concept. Okay, Ireland is filled with beautiful scenery. Great sentence, but again, it's not as strong as it could be if we took out that verb to be. So that expression is filled with, let's see if we can make that stronger. What about if we wrote something like this? Ireland offers beautiful scenery. It's a stronger, more active verb. And again, don't you notice how the first sentence is a little bit longer than the um, sentence where we put in the stronger active verb? We're reducing the wordiness of our sentence and we're making it very clear and effective. Okay, lastly, let's take a look at a sentence that's a little more academic, you know, that you might use in your academic writing. So this sentence is a little bit longer than the first two examples I gave you. It's, tourism is one of Ireland's most important economic sectors because it is responsible for generating billions of dollars for the island. Okay, that's a great sentence, it's very specific, it's complex, but both of the verbs in those, in those clauses are the verb to be. It's a little repetitive and it's not as strong as it could be. Let's make this stronger. Okay, we, what we did with the first uh, verb is, is we took it out and we put ranks as. Tourism ranks as one of Ireland's most important economic sectors because it generates. So instead of saying is responsible for generating, which is kind of long and wordy, we just took that out and then put one strong active verb in because it generates billions of dollars for the island. And again, you can see the second stronger sentence is actually shorter than the first weaker sentence using only the verb to be. So there you have it, another super quick tip to make your sentences stronger in English. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.